Say what? Hello, everybody. So, what I'm going to do, we're expecting some rain here. Uh, we had a lot of rain, actually, where I live, considering the last, like, three or four years we've had none. Anyway, not too long-winded on this. I figure it's a perfect time to go out here and experiment with Black Rhino's Best Dressed and their Boost. Their Boost is a topper for coatings or a standalone. So I'm gonna do the, the wheel, then I'm gonna put it on these uh, AT tires, the uh, Best Dressed. <laughs> Show you guys what I use to, um, like with an AT tire, it's kind of a pain in the butt because of the knobs. Anyway, I don't wanna talk too much, let's just get to it. And then this week, if we get some rain today and tomorrow like we're supposed to, we'll see how they hold up and then I'll report back. And I also wanted to show you guys how easy these coatings are to apply, especially the um, the standalone paint coating. I'm going to show you that first real quick. This is what I would do on a wheel. So here's the best dressed. And the reason this doesn't say best dressed is Brad gave me that before he had his labels made. So with the Boost, this is a coating topper or a standalone. And I'm not going to get crazy about this or real particular with the wheels. These have been cleaned. This is a work truck, but this is how I would do it because the detailers that I've talked to seriously say that coatings on the wheels really don't help much. So anyway, let's just get to it. I'm going to show you what I would do. And it's a cool day. So this stuff isn't going to flash too fast. This is how simple it can be. Just rub it on like you're, I don't know, rubbing a wax on. You're not even really going to see anything on a factory painted wheel. This is a factory silver wheel. And these are not pristine. And the cooler that it is, the longer it can stand. So keep that in mind. I would not be doing this on a summer day here where I live. The summers where I live are... I mean, 103, 110, 114. <laughs> Don't do that. Be a bad, bad idea. And then you'd call Brad and say, hey, your coating didn't work. No, you put it on when it was like an oven. Don't do that. So you don't have to be too finicky on the wheel because I think anything on the wheel is going to actually just help keep it a little bit cleaner and rinse off the weekly debris like this truck I don't really fully detail this truck. So let's try to keep it looking decent. This is the work truck. It isn't my truck, so my bosses are actually benefiting because I get to play with products on their truck. Now, even though I haven't given it much time to sit and dwell, which you can give this up to 20 minutes, Brad says, on cool days, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna knock it down and leave it however it is. However it looks is how it's gonna stay. Okay, let's go. And again, this isn't trying to be all pristine. If you have a show car, take the wheel off, lay it on a table, and hit every square inch of the wheel. Again, I realize this wasn't hit that way. Probably not the best video for Brad, but just saying with a coating like this, super simple to apply and you don't have to get crazy about the method that you use. I could say on a wheel like this, honestly, a uh, factory painted wheel, um, you could probably just apply it lightly and walk away from it, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna show you his best dressed. Now this can be a little bit of a pain in the rump not because it's a coating, but because of these tires. So let me do the sidewalls first. So I'm using a dirty, <laughs> or a used, it's not really dirty, a used applicator, uh, auto fiber applicator that I've already used. And I save them for things like this, things that are gonna be dirty use anyway. Engine base, uh, tires, wheels, anything.
Now this coating should give you probably a month or two of durability. Of course, if you like them glossier or you want to hit them more than that, you can. Uh, I'll take you in the garage here in a minute and show you uh, what my wife's looks like. And hers hasn't been recoated in probably two months. Makes the wash process a lot easier. Because once these coatings are on the sidewalls, tire coatings, just wash them with soapy water, uh, rinse and walk away. All right, that's just partial. Now I'm going to show you what I might do up here in the knobbies. This is the part that's a pain in the rear to me. It's not anybody's fault. I mean, if you don't want that, just don't have AT tires. Take a little cheap paintbrush from like Walmart or Home Depot, whatever. Kind of put it in here. Now, some of you are going to say, that's a pain in the rump just to dress my tires. Keep in mind, yes, it is. I will not deny that. But you're only going to do this once every two months, once every three months, if you're not in a real dirty environment with a tire coating, right? So it is worth it. Anyway, there you have it, guys. I don't want to wear you guys out. Keep you on for that. That's just boring air. Straightforward things. Uh, Black Rhino, blackrhinoshine.com. You have best dressed tire coating. And then he sells five-year coatings. He's got a new clear repair um, product coming out. Keep an eye on that website, guys. And, oh, and I think right now he's trying to sell some of his older stock. So you may want to head over there right now. They have stuff on sale. Anyway, it's hard to tell. But you see those tires? That's two, probably two and a half months old of the Black Rhino Best Dressed. That's it. So very worth it if you don't want to dress your tires every week. All right, guys, that'll do it. That's a wrap, as they say. See you guys next time.